yeah, we got them all rematched, which was uh, which was really good. Obviously, we we'll make sure that guys who have been training, you know, have some have an end product there and a fight to you know to actually um, to, to showcase on the night. You know, because there's nothing worse. You know, the guys obviously train for many weeks and then find out you know there isn't a fight for them at the end. So. Yeah, very happy that we managed to, to get them sorted, you know. Awesome stuff. And looking ahead to Saturday, uh, including the main event, Bunger versus McIntosh, what can you tell us, and um, so what fights uh, should uh, we be looking out for at Linwood? Right, yeah, it's kind of put me on the spot there. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, obviously, obviously the main event, Chris Bungard and Craig McIntosh, I mean, it's a, a fight that a lot of people wanted to, to see um, as the guys obviously progressed in their own sort of pro careers. Uh, obviously, the fact that it's an uh, all Scottish affair as well, which you know adds a bit to it, I think. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that fight. There's uh, a few other, obviously, ma- mainly amateurs there. Uh, the rest of the fight, so I think the Alexander Campbell Luke Westwood fight's going to be pretty intriguing and interesting. You've got obviously two unbeaten amateurs uh, going for it in the featherweight um, yeah. division. So, that, I think that's going to be a really interesting one uh, for the fans as well. You know, you should you should kind of see. Uh, what sort of level both guys are, are at, you know? Absolutely. And, you know, James, uh, on top, you guys celebrate five years as a promotion this year. Uh, if I can ask you, you know, what that journey's been like uh, since February 2011, and what's your guys' plans going forward, particularly for this year in 2016? Yeah, I mean, obviously we started off um, being quite active um, in the early days, and then we obviously hit with a, a few issues with regards to licensing, uh, police issues, things like that, but... You know, they, they seem to be obviously behind us now. We've this will be our you know our third show in a row um, that we've done since since those issues uh, first obviously being in Fife, uh, and then we did the Paisley show, and now this one in Linwood. So you know we've we've managed to you know, hopefully make uh, people realise that you know that the organisation is is doing you know the right things, and and ho- hopefully their stance on it relaxes a little bit as well because. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's not it's not their sort of cup of tea, but you know it, it's some people's cup of tea, and some people do like to to watch it and you know, you know sort of be a part of that. So yeah, let, let's hope that going forward uh, that there are no more issues, and you know obviously I don't envisage there being any issues going forward. So yeah, hopefully it's going to be very good um, and active year for us. And you sort of alluded to it earlier back in June, you know the on top eight you held it at the uh, Fife uh, Ace Arena. A lot of your shows are predominantly, like you said, have been West Coast events for yourselves. But how did you enjoy, uh, particularly Kakori, sir? And, and do you have plans to return to, to the Kingdom of Fife uh, anytime soon? It's not. It's not directly in our plans, to be honest with you. We've we've already booked in, obviously, three events after this one. Next one being fourth of June, yeah. uh, then twenty fourth of September, and the tenth of December, and they will all be at the um, at the Paisley Lagoon Centre. Um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to sort of we're, we're trying to get a bit of stability going, you know, with on top. You know, we want to sort of we want to pick a venue, we want to sort of help grow it at the venue. Um, you know, we want to then sort of in- increase certain things by changing venues can be a you know it can be a bit of a headache sometimes. And you know, obviously we're glad we we went across the five and and obviously we're doing different venues. But yeah, I think I think for this year, you know, let's get a bit of stability there for us mm-hmm. and you know push on push on with that uh, and you know have have a busy year hopefully um, you know a lot of people through the doors hopefully as well excellent yeah build up that fan base yes it sounds like a good idea so well James massive thank you again for giving us your time we're all excited for Saturday uh, finally if people want to get in touch with On Top how are they best to do that via website social media how are we finding you online yeah I mean predominantly we, we, we post most of our stuff through our Facebook so it's just On Top Promotions on Facebook, give us a like. Uh, you obviously you follow us. Make sure um, you're hearing everything about what we're doing, and, and there will be some big things happening this year. Our website's uh, it's not being used at the moment, but we're hoping to get that rejuvenated very shortly. Um, and you know, we'll, we're going to be getting a lot more sort of content on it, and uh, have it a lot more sort of user friendly as well. Uh, stuff like getting some. Um, bits and pieces where you can actually buy tickets through the website we're looking to expand on our sort of clothing range and stuff like that our athlete range so you know we'll have all details all things like that hopefully in the near future but yeah predominantly just follow us through facebook and you know all the info um, will be up there excellent james lake a pleasure for your time sir and uh, good luck for everything on uh, on saturday 
No worries. Thanks a lot and hope everyone enjoys the night. A massive thank you to our guests here today. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast on Spreaker.com. Like us on Facebook.com forward slash Martial Arts Chat and on Twitter at Martial Arts Chat as well. Good luck to all the guys competing this Saturday. And next time on the Martial Arts Chat podcast, we'll be speaking to Sean Vig of Sean Vig Yoga Fitness. And we'll be talking power yoga, Pilates and improving your martial arts. So once again, thanks for listening, tuning in and keep subscribing to our channel here at Spreaker.